Hey guys, what's up? It's Z Mike Gullah here in 1987. Uh, so as you see here, I'm doing a super, 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 super late review of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2, House of Night. The thing for me is, I always want to do these reviews, but I'm always like off time. Or like, not off time, but I never get the chance to do it. Or something comes up, or something like that. And I always never get the time to do it. So, but now, Walking Dead Episode 4 has just been released this week. But I said I'm going to do reviews of episode 2 and 3, and then episode 4 will be released. I just finished a playthrough of um, episode 4 right now, and it will be uploaded in another hour or two, depending if you see the video at all. So, let's begin. Uh, House Divided. Um, this is my gameplay footage of it. I've been um, for a gameplay. If you see my my channel, I do playthroughs with this thing, which is a Hapog HDP VR2 Gaming Edition. Um, I watched these channels and they like recommended it, so I've been using it for all my like videos, for, like playthroughs and walkthroughs and all that stuff. I've been doing a lot of telltale games, so, you know. So let's just get into it. Um, so it's been um, it's been a long time since I did my first episode review, which was called All That I Made. So I'll also buy it. It's a um, really great um, follow up to the episode. And my main problems with the first episode was the fact that. It was a great story for Clementine, like it was a great setup for her character, but the story, the main story, wasn't really going anywhere, or like, you didn't really know what was going on. You knew that Clementine was hurt, and she was lost, and she needed assistance, and you did not know if people were friendly or dangerous. And I had problems with it, but I still liked it. I gave it a 9 out of 10, if you watch my review at all. Um, but now, the follow-up, episode 2, House of Biden. A lot of people call this the best episode of the series, one of the best episodes so far. Um, the best, one of their best titles or downloads. But I really do like it. I really loved it, uh, episode two. There was a lot of great choices and uh, consequences in the episode. And a lot of choices from um, the first episode also related here. So the story, um, the game takes place after moments after the events of the first episode, depending on how you play. And um, basically, Clementine realizes that. This is a group of survivors, um, Nick, uh, Luke, and the, um, Rebecca, Alvin, Carlos, all these characters that she meets in the first episode, gets encountered by a strange new man, a presence of a new character. Let's see if I can find him. This is Mary Carver. He basically, this group has a dark past with Carver, and Carver's coming for them. Now, if you did not know, Carver's actually played by a movie voice actor named um, Michael Madsen. He uh, is in The Kill Bill, Volume 1 and 2. He, I believe he was also in Reservoir Dogs and a tons of other good like crime films I heard. And a lot of people said that he just chose to see his performances. But I I never really thought But I never really thought his performance was better in itself. But here he does a really good job. I just love his performance in the film overall in the game. Right? The game really uh, really just makes his performance really just much more darker than you expect and it really does work. Like he plays on the like I said, he has a dark past with these people survive. I don't want to, like, blow up the stereo. So basically, this time, it's time that you would have to leave the little resort, or the little house or cabin they found. They have to leave, because Carver knows where they are, he's going to find them. And really, Carver is just a great villain, because he's not just um, a man who is powerful with his physical, but he can also mentally, like, mess you up in times. He is dangerous and he's a, a great villain for Clementine and the group and that's a great way as other games and as the first season and the villains were mainly walkers and then like a care like a group of people to be meet in every single episode and unless you talk about episode four and five with the walkie talkie map in the first season but in this you have an actual villain who has a real presence and that's really amazing in my opinion so why is Amy Kim saying it's really a great episode? It's because it's the writing. I always say that Tiltil's writing has always been outstanding, on spy, and always just been really smart. It really takes like a lot of different turns, making branching decisions. And Tiltil earns their like little, like things of saying they are great writers. And I will say it, they are great writers. They did a great job writing this episode and you can tell that they really put a lot of effort into it. Now I don't really don't see um like review I hate like reviews that complain about little things like I saw reviews that they're giving it like 8 out of 10 or 8.75 which is complete bullshit it's complete bullshit that like a game that this good gets like a really like uh okay score in my opinion but I really think it's actually one of the best episodes that they created 
Now, what are you going to be doing? You're going to be doing just like you always do in The Walking Dead. It's a point-click adventure game. You make choices, and the consequences you did in the past will come back to bite you later in this episode. Um, also, there's also characters who, um, from the first, I can't really say too much, but characters, but I bet you already played the game, but characters from the first season and from the DLC expansion pack from the first season will come to make surprises for this episode if you made the choices. Now, I thought that was kind of cool that they did that. Um, since you know, I actually played this all footage on PS3. I did not play it on iOS, I just played it on PS3. I did both Among Us on iOS, but this is on PS3. So, um, and, uh, wow, I'm just really lost the words. I really like how the choices in this one actually has a lot more sentiments as the game I played, I played the game actually three times. As there are four save files, I played it three times. And I got like really great ending sequences, especially in the last 30 minutes is when the choices and consequences really pay off, in my opinion. I don't want to say too much, but I know everyone else has already played it and bought it already and enjoyed it. But you really should play it for yourself to see what I'm talking about, especially the last 30 minutes is actually one of the best parts of the game. I can't like really put into words, but it's sort of been like a long time since it came out, so you should already play it. Um, like, uh, Jesus, I really lost the words. Now, there's no plot progression, like, as slow as hell. This story actually moves really fast. And like I said, the villain, he's not just a guy who's physically dangerous. He's also, like, presence. Like, his presence is everywhere. You can feel like he's coming. Not only that, Harlow doesn't really show up that much in the episode. He only shows up once or twice. Once in the beginning, like, right here, like, 20 minutes into the episode, he shows up and disappears. And then he shows up in the last, like, 20 or 30 minutes of the episode, where he comes back and he really makes his presence really dominating. And really showing that Michael Manson is a great actor. So good for that. Um, you're gonna be doing, like, things as, like, uh, figuring out little environmental puzzles here and there, which they're not really that much of. I mean, I don't really play these games for puzzles, I play it for them for the story. And it's really good here. Um, there's a great moment for quick time events, and I must say, I love Telltale's and Quick Time Events. This makes me really love Quick Time Events. Like Telltale Games is like how they do it. It's really well done. And it's really quick. It doesn't it's not just like boring, like oh, okay, I'm just tapping the button. It really you really feel like you're not gonna make it if you don't tap that button. And, and that happens at times. So overall, I love the gameplay. Uh, graphically it looks really good. It actually looks a lot better than the first season. Um that's really just amazing how they do that. Um, I don't really see no problems with the game. Uh, I did notice like a little like technical hiccup when it comes to sound cues. Or well, like my second day through it's done a little few times. But technical hiccups is the only thing that holds this game back from perfection. That's the only thing. So for that, I'm gonna for the technical hiccups, I'm just gonna have to give it an overall solid score of 9.5 out of 10. I'm sorry to make uh, review sure I'm going to be doing two or three videos in one night altogether. This one night, we're going to do two or three videos. So, it's 9.5 out of 10. I really love this episode. It was really uh, a lot of fun to play. And I love playing it over and over to see the different, like, the endings, different choices I made. It's really amazing to do that. And I just love doing it over and over. So, guys, that's my review of episode two of House Divided. I know I've been like, uh, it's July and it came out in March, so I'm like four months late. But I had just, I just wanted to do this review because I didn't want to review episode four and just not do two and three. That's how I did Wolf Among Us. I reviewed on um, the first uh, two and three, and then I reviewed and just go things like this. See? So please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Um, also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, in, the, um, in the description area. You'll see uh, how you can find me. Just type it's my name. Facebook is Mike Martinez. My name on Twitter is Michaela Nineteen Seven. That's how you can find me. Uh, comment. Let me know what do you think about the game. Did you enjoy? Did you watch my review? And did you actually? Or, um, do you give my opinion? So that's all I got to say, guys. Please buy every um, uploading this video later tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. I don't know when to upload. So that's all I got to say. So bye, guys.